The most frequent questions I get about the Kinetics 5500 are about using bus bars to create the common bus system. So to answer some of these questions, here's a brief discussion of some of the things to consider before choosing which bus bars to use. The Kinetics 5500 is Rockwell's mid-range Ethernet drive, supporting single and dual cable servo motors up to 15 kilowatts. This video will discuss options for using bus sharing to save time and reduce both wiring and panel space. Out of the box, the Kinetics 5500 can be wired as a standalone drive, with input power and line filtering being supplied to each drive separately. To simplify the input wiring, the drives with the same power rating can be fed from a single supply and share a common AC bus. The bus is created using low profile connectors across the top of the drives. This reduces time, filtering, and as well as fuse and connector requirements. The number of drives that can share this AC bus is based on the frame size. The DC bus can also be shared. This is an example showing the AC coming to only the first drive. This drive then functions as a power supply and provides power to the following drives across the DC bus. When a servo motor stops quickly or is driven by its load, it acts like a generator, sending power back to the drive. In addition to simplifying wiring, DC sharing allows this drive to sh on the bus to reuse this regenerative energy, saving power and reducing shunting requirements. Again, the number that may share a bus is determined by the drive size as shown in this chart. Drives of the same power rating can also share both AC and DC buses at the same time. Can I share both AC and DC if I have a variety of drive sizes? Yes. In fact, hybrid is the most common bus type. Following the rules of shared AC-DC, the leftmost drives can share both AC and DC and act as a converter or power supply for the DC bus and supply power to the remaining drives across the DC bus. The bus bar part numbers are broken down into two sizes, 40 mm for frame sizes 1 and 2, 70 mm for frame size 3. They are also divided into two types. Part numbers ending in dash IN provide the screw terminals for input wiring and are followed by parts ending in dash T which include the necessary connectors and U-shaped bus bars. The letters after the size indicate which buses are included in the kit. A equals AC bus, D equals DC bus, and T equals control power bus. If you're looking for more detail, or for the charts referenced earlier, they can be found in Appendix C of the Kinetics 5500 user manual. The publication number for this manual is 2198-UM001, and you can find it at rockwallautomation.com or with a simple Google search. Another great resource for confirming the servo design is Motion Analyzer. Motion Analyzer is a free tool that can be found at motionanalyzer.rockwallautomation.com. For more information, reach out to your Revere salesperson or motion specialist. We would be glad to help you.